What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle back with another video. And today in this video, I am going to be doing the witch's pot with you guys. One of my Halloween apples. And it's really, really, really fun to do. And I'm going to give you life on it today. So sit back, hold your seats, get your tools out, get your notepads out, and let's get connected. But before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below and check out my other videos also on my channel. You will not be disappointed and many more videos to come. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So I'm going to go over the supplies. I have a sculpting tool. I have a sculpting tool that's on one end and a scribe on the other end, but I'll be using this one more so. And I have a Wilton, Wilton's piping tip size 2A. And I also have the Wilton's leaf cutter, which this is a size E. They also come in a pack. And all the supplies that I'm using in this video, I will put in the description below. And also, I am using Fat Daddy O's Pro Series Fondant in the colors of black, green, orange, yellow, and red. And I have my fondant rolling pin and some powdered sugar. Powdered sugar is to keep the find it from sticking to my Wilton's find it fun mat and of course I have my granny smith apple along with my straws already decorated and if you see on the straw it's pot and I know you guys like where do you order your stuff from it will be in the description below so if you are ready to get connected let's get into the video so what I'm going to do Move my apple over to the side. I'm going to roll out the fondant. Okay, I'm going to add a little powdered sugar. Why do I use powdered sugar? You can use powdered sugar or you can use uh, cornstarch. It's really up to you. Um, but I choose to use um, powdered sugar. Especially if I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I just don't like starch. But you don't want to add too much. Okay, you want to make sure you need your fondant. When needing your fondant, you just um, stretching your fondant so that you will be able to use it and smooth it out. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a good roll there. Let me position this for you guys a little bit better. So, as I'm rolling it out. I'm going to flatten it. You want to start in the center. Okay? And, and roll out. Roll back. Roll forward. Okay? Turning and find it and do the same. Roll back. Roll out. You don't want to make it too thin. And you don't want it to be too thick. Okay? So as I'm just pressing firmly, rolling back, rolling forward, I rotate my fondant so that it can be evenly spread it over my apple. Okay? Okay. So what I'm going to do is take my apple okay and I'm just going to pinch a hole in the center of it and then go over the apple as such and I'm going to take my sculpting tool and just press down here in these areas where the fondant is just sticking up a little bit okay you don't want to poke a hole it's just just nicely firm press sticking down the extra fondant that was at the top. 
Now what I'm going to do here is just gather the fondant together with this apple. And once I gather it together, I want you to take a look to see how it is. And what you see here is not complete, right? Nope, it's not complete. So what you want to do is take your rolling pin and roll out your fondant. Okay, making sure there's no powder on here. Your fondant is like elastic. <laughs> it stretches. Okay, there's one thing about find it. It stretch. It comes together. Rolling it together. Okay. And here, roll. And it comes together. That's it. Now, once you move it towards the bottom, also you want to roll around to make sure it's no bubbles. And you just roll it out. Now you are going to accumulate some extra at the bottom. You take the sculpting tool and you just cut here. Okay. And your bottom going to look like that, but you can cut some more off. Set to the side. And if it's open like this, what you're going to do is just roll to close. Roll to close. Roll to close. Bringing in what you're basically doing is just bringing the fondant together. Okay. You don't have to pull on it, just roll it to close. Okay? Then you want to take a look at your apple. And yes, you will have some handprints, but just slightly rotate your apple and rubbing it downward will get rid of those handprints. It's like smoothing out your fondant. Okay? So as I sit it there, I'm going to sit my apple over to the side and what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut out the fire that's at the bottom of the apple. Okay? So you want to take your red fondant, your yellow, and your orange. Okay? You want to work it, knead it. And what you're doing is getting it smooth enough to work with. If you work with find it and it's dry and try to roll it out, it's going to crack. So you want to knead it to where it's going to stretch and be um, able to work with. Okay? So I'm able to get that going. And I'm going to go ahead and do the yellow don't take much to do you don't have to take a long time doing it but you want to make sure it is smooth enough to work with okay just like this is dry and you you want to make sure that you seal your find it when you're done or when you're not working with it that's very important as well okay so what I want to do is take some pieces of the orange and the red and the yellow and I'm going to create like a fiery look, okay? So bringing it together and you see that? I like that part, right? So what I'm going to do is roll it up. And then I'm going to roll it out. The more the swirl, the more they look like it's fire flaming. Okay? So you want to cut out the pieces that's really marbleized in. Like, it's really marble. 
and I'm going to go ahead and cut some pieces with the leaf cutter. It's a two side cutter and I'm going to cut with this end. Okay. And just press and just want to give it a little shake back and forth. Not too much. And I'm cutting where it's more of the yellow and red look. Okay. And pulling up the extra. Now I want to add a little bit more orange because I got some more pieces I want to cut out. And just break off the red, orange, and yellow. Working it together. These colors are is ooh, fire like fire. <laughs> Giving y'all life here on your sweet connection, y'all. This is going to be fun. If you do these apples, please comment in the comment section. I want to see your apples. Okay. So I'm going to cut out some more pieces. And as I'm cutting out these pieces, I'm going to put these on first. Okay, putting that over there to the side. So what you see here is where you're gonna line up at the bottom. Now the find it is is a is is really thick enough, was well, sticky enough where you can just place it on there. If it don't stay, you can excuse my background noise. If it don't stay, then you can add some water to the back of it and then apply it to the bottom of your apple. Okay. So what I'm doing here is just putting in position where I want my fire to lay. You can lap it over if you like. It's totally up to you. I'm going to straighten that out there. And just putting it on as such. And you can even overlap it if you want. Bring it down a little bit. Like you got flame at the bottom of your apple. Okay. And just go all the way around. Well, you don't have to go all the way around. It's totally up to you. If you just want to do the front. Normally, I just do the front. And that's my fire. Fire! Now, what I'm going to do now is take some find it and I'm going to make my rim to go around my apple. And I'm just going to roll out a nice piece and as I'm rolling back and forth, going coming in the center, rolling outward, it will stretch. Your fondant will stretch. Okay? You don't want to do it too much, but you want to be gentle when you do do it. And positioning it, you can either pinch it before or pinch it after. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when it comes to the pinch. I am going to make it like the rim. The rim of the pot. 
hot, you want to just squeeze the top and like pinch it. Now, if it don't stay for you, because I'm showing y'all this, doing this tutorial with you guys, you can add water to the bottom of the fondant to apply the rim or piping gel. It's totally up to you. But being that the moisture of it, it will stick once you apply it to um, the apple. So what I'm doing now is just forming my rim of my pot. Okay. That's my rim. And now what I'm going to do is take the green and roll out to where you have like the witch's brew. You know? The witch's brew of this apple. So I'm going to need my find it. Because it is dry. Okay. Excuse the cough. Uh, what I'm going to do is roll it out. And I'm not going to use all of it. Matter of fact, I'm going to take some off. When I do that, I like to knead it again so I can smooth it out. And I'm going to give it like a 3D effect to where like if it was brewing up and brewing over. Okay. Press. Roll out. Start in the center. And then you don't want too much of this to go on top, just enough, because what you're going to do is place the green part over the apple, okay? Take your sculpting tool, pressing down that part of the center, and just work it around where it is inside the rim of the pot. Okay, just folding it under. And it looks as if it is boiling up, okay? It gives that effect. Okay, it's all about having that creative mind. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of green and just take a pinch and do like a teardrop effect to where it's like it's boiling over now I notice you don't see me applying any water or any pipe in gel I just want you to keep that in mind and just take small pieces to do like a teardrop pressing the bottom squeezing the top oh, I'm gonna have to Put some water on that one. And then if you want a little bit more, you can do so 
And I'm going to add another one. Get my water. And there you have it. It looks like you have your witch's pot brewing over. And that's the effect you get. Very simple. All done. Okay. So there you have it your witch's pot okay if you got connected and i just gave you life give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions and want to comment below leave a comment and we're gonna get you together so signing out your girl ro you just been connected and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in another video bye bye